Hey guys, up? It's your boy J Rob 447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 University of Buffalo Dynasty. And this is our first game of the season. We going up against Rutgers University. And you guys see this is this is not an evenly matched game. For the offense, for the most part, yes, maybe. But defensively, our defense sucks. They have a better defense. And overall, they are just a better team. So we are definitely going to have to play really hard. The reason why I scheduled this game was because, you know, it's a regional matchup. New York versus New Jersey, baby. Let's get it on. Blue versus Red. Kurtz versus Blood. You guys already know, man. You guys already know. So one of their best players on that team is uh, uh, Mr. Archie Diacono. Now, if you look at the name Archie Diacono, you probably might know how to actually pronounce it. But since, you know, I'm on Long Island, I grew up around a lot of Italians, I know how to pronounce the Italians' last names, okay? You know, it's just something I've grown accustomed to. So, yep, Buffalo versus Rutgers, let's kick it off with the coin toss. We pick heads, and it is tails, and usually computer picks to kick and they do pick the kick I always want to receive man I always want to receive so Devin Campbell back there to return somebody said in the comments that Devin Campbell is his cousin well guess what Devin Campbell taking it back I blockers in front of him first game of the season first play of the season Devin Campbell takes it back for the touchdown a 96 yard kick return Devin Campbell coming out for the first time and yo I, I've Played nine games so far, and that will not be the last you will see of Devin Campbell. That will not be the last. So, Rutgers takes it. First down and 10 with 4.47 left to go. Uh, Hayden Redding did not make a good pass right there. He did not make a good pass. In real life, Rutgers isn't that great because the conference are in. I don't think they should be in a Big Ten because, you know, they can't really compete. But, oh, Archie Diakno finds space. Archie Diakno might take this one to the house, but he is chased down by a cluster of Buffalo defenders. So it's first down and 10. They're in a the red zone. The read option works to perfection as Rutgers gets the first down. So it's going to be first and goal. Paul James with the 13-yard uh, rush. So they're on a the three-yard line. Second and goal. Puts a man in motion they're gonna pass and they're gonna find RG Diacono for the touchdown so it is a 7-7 game you know Devin Campbell back there to return again let's see if it can he can make a better play oh he makes a nice move oh he breaks the tackle but he cannot get that far as he did the first time so the Rutgers Scarlet Knights defense will come out for the first time in this game Joe Licata is your quarterback Anthony Taylor is your running back so Anthony Taylor is going to take it up the gut for about five yards on that play so it's third and five Joe Licata drops back it's going to find Matt Weiser for the first down a nine yard reception so, if you guys are wondering what offense I'm going to use, I'm basically going to have a balanced offense. Going to run the ball just as much as I pass the ball. If some game situations are different, I'm going to pass more. Some game situations are different, I'm going to run more. It just depends on the trend, okay? And with the personnel we have, you know, this offense was basically built for a balanced attack, all right? So, Jordan Johnson with an 11-yard reception. That one was almost picked off if you saw that one. So, first down and 10. We're in goal-scoring territory. Uh touchdown scoring territory and this one is incomplete so third in eight joe lakata is in the shotgun with anthony taylor right beside him anthony taylor goes out for a route not going to stay in block and that is a interception as box picks him off Joe Licata's first interception of the season, not what we wanted at all. But Rutgers could not get anything done. So it is 4th and 14. Rutgers will punt it away with 23 seconds left to go. And Devin Campbell, he is also the punt returner, but he muffs this one. So he picks it up, and ooh, that was not a good return at all. I don't know what that was. I don't know how it hit his helmet, but whatever. So Joe Licata drops back, finds Matt Weiser for an 11 yard reception. Close to a first down, but not quite so we're gonna do a little run play and anthony taylor is gonna pick up a first down and more about eight yards in that run so we're around the 50 yard line with 420 left in the second quarter half <laughs> 420 so joe Licata rolls out finds matt weiser who gets trucked but still gets a nine yard reception so matt weiser already has like three receptions Hey, Matt Wires is doing pretty good. I like throwing it to my tight ends because they always can find they always find space on them crossing routes. So you guys see I do slants. You guys know I'm a guy who likes to do the little slant routes. And Ron Willoughby breaks two tackles and goes all the way to the five-yard line with a 29-yard 
uh, reception. So second and goal, Jordan Johnson pushes his way into the end zone. It was an, it is now 14 to seven. So Rutgers couldn't get anything done again. So with a minute and two left to go, Devin Campbell breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle. Seven yard return. Hey, Devin Campbell, who he's giving me the chills because I first play. Didn't even expect it. So Joe Licata finds space. Going to find McGill. McGill makes one man miss. Makes another man miss. And he's going to have a 32-yard reception right there. Joe Licata showing you what he can do. So Joe Licata drops back. Finds his man Robinson. Malcolm Robinson. He's going to be a reserve usually because he, he he's not going to get a lot of playing time. So you will not hear his name that much this season. So we're going five wide. 14 seconds left. Joe Licata gets hits as he throws. And that's an interception by Joe Licata, the second one of the day. That is not what we want, two turnovers. But we're still in this thing, man. We're still in this thing. I, I don't know. So, seven seconds left. We're going prevent defense, man. We do not want to give up a touchdown. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hating Reddit threw a touchdown to Janarian Grant for the touchdown. I just I just said something very redundant, but either way, that is not how we want to end the half. 14-14, we went into prevent defense, but one of our cornerbacks was left on the island. I tried to, like, jump the route, and I absolutely failed, which led to that touchdown being scored. So, bad defense on my part. I should have let the computer play that one, but I was being aggressive. But, nevertheless, we shouldn't even... We have no business being in this game right now. And we're doing pretty good. We have more rushing yards. We only have 13 less uh, passing yards. Yeah, that's quick math for you, boy. But we do have two turnovers. So if we didn't have the turnovers, we could be leading by a lot. You never know, okay? Our offense is doing pretty good. It's just that Joe Licata, he's making terrible interceptions. You can't do that when we're about to score. That's not what we want to see. And Paul James just finds space. And Paul James is going to get tripped up. At the 8-yard line, 10-yard line. So, they hand it off to Paul James again. Paul James doesn't make a man miss. He loses one yard on that one. So, hey, our defense does something good. Our defense is not that great, as you guys see. It's not that great at all. And they almost scored a touchdown right there, but we stop them. So, it's fourth and goal. All right, Nick Gilbo with the um, tackle right there. So, they're going to have to settle for a field goal. I don't know the kicker's name. Do I really care? No, I don't. And it's crazy. Their uh, quarterback, their second string quarterback, Laviano. Damn, I guess Rutgers has a lot of Italians on their team. But whatever. So we call him the audible. It's second down and five with two minutes, 21 seconds left to go. In the third quarter, Anthony Taylor gets the handoff. Breaks one tackle. Anthony Taylor off to the races. Breaks another tackle. A 33-yard rush. So Joe Licata rolls out. Finds Matt Weiser again. I've been saying his name all day actually that was mason shrek i hope that uh, hopefully that is how you pronounce his name that's pretty cool shrek well not pretty cool because people call you shrek but whatever second down and five emily taylor has uh 70 yards on 12 rushes so that's six yards per carry yeah man that's that math for you so he picked up another nine yard rush he is doing really good at this point like nothing is coming in his way makes a good Breaks a tackle, and he scores. Anthony Taylor finds pay dirt. Yeah, throw up that Nike, man. Throw it up. Okay, so you see we had excellent blocking on that one. So we need to preserve this lead. So with two seconds left, Hating Redding is going to throw, and that one's going to be intercepted by Boise Ross. And Boise Ross gets hit out of bounds, and we will have the ball at, I believe, the, either the 35 or the 25-yard line. As you guys can see, Boise Ross, he jumped that route and got the interception. So, I was kind of correct. We got at, like, the uh, actually the 15-yard line. So, Joe Licata drops back, finds Ron Willoughby for the 17-yard re re reception. And Joe Licata will also get his first touchdown of the season. He already had two interceptions, but... Hey, man, he's doing pretty good if you minus the interceptions, all right? That's all you got to do. And Paul James, oh, he's got good blocking. Paul James... It's a 22-yard rush. We have not been able to stop Paul James, okay? these Our defense is not good, as you guys see. And Paul James, yeah, we stop him on that one. But when it comes to that other stuff, man, we cannot stop him. I mean, when they run outside, 
we're pretty much done for. So when they run inside, we, we stop them almost every time. So third down and 11, we're playing zone, but they do a little screen. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get Paul James. He has blockers. One man to beat, and we knock him out of bounds. Actually, that was Robert Martin. So I guess he came in for Paul James, but the screens always catch me. They always catch me. Even in real life, it is really hard to defend a screen if you're a defensive lineman because you don't, you don't know it's coming, and we do break up that pass right there Hayden Redding with two touchdowns already and an interception so we're trying to stop this one a minute 59 left to go gonna throw it at the back of the end zone but it is a turnover you guys are like whoa J-Rob that's a touchdown no no that's not that's a turnover if you zoom in I zoomed in to see if this was a turnover or not and when he put his foot down I did it really fast but you guys can see his toe is on the line his toe touched the line basically so if he wasn't a size 15 or maybe like a size 9 he probably would have scored but hey we're gonna make Rutgers remember what happened to them and Ron Willoughby scores another touchdown uh, this play was a setup play you guys know if you play this game they hit you with these plays like oh this play is set up and he was wide open so we doubled up on the Scarlet Knights yeah man Ron Willoughby is your player of the game three receptions 103 yards two touchdowns hey this is the game we needed man this is the game we needed i'm playing on harder difficulty all american I'm not playing at high yet because i haven't played this game in that long so you can't really get at and get really mad at me so i think i did pretty good for my first game back what y'all think all right so we win the game 34 17 and joe lakata did not have the greatest day two touchdowns two interceptions but anthony taylor 116 yards one touchdown that is pretty damn good in my book honestly and uh you look at our receivers they were cooking as well matt weiser had four receptions for 40 yards uh mcgill had that big game and our defense didn't do that well but when we had when we needed to get stops we got stops so i can tip my hat to that but anyway it's been another j-rob video remember to like comment subscribe and peace